Okay, so as part of this podcast, I wanted to give you a tour around my uh, new flat that I've just bought. It's a top floor flat in Bath. So here we are at the entrance hall and this is what I want everybody to take away from this. What is really important that you do when you buy a new property? So important. So very first things first is you're gonna have to check the electrics all work, they go on and off. This one has actually been tested in 2019. So this, um, all of this electrics have been recently tested. And the reason why that's, why I know that is because during the sale process, I asked for an electrical safety certificate, which it's important that you do too, because you have to test the electrics every five years. As you will see, or as you will hear, when I'm walking around this flat, you. I don't need to do anything because actually it's in pretty good condition. And for those of you listening on the podcast, I've also done a YouTube video for this as well. So you can see the wander around if that's something that is useful for you. So again, electrics, you definitely need an electrical safety certificate. You don't want to pay for it yourself if you don't have to. So ask the seller for that. Next up, I just always go into the bedrooms first because it's far easier to do the bedrooms first and check what's going on. So if you come into this, this is the spare bedroom, or this is the bigger bedroom actually. So there is nothing going on in here apart from we've got storage heaters, night storage heaters. I always check that they go on overnight. So what I do is I turn them on one day and I come back the next day and see if this room has warmed up which is really vital because if your storage heaters don't work, you're going to have to get that replaced. And they are heavy for a contractor to be bringing in and out. So that's not gonna happen overnight. You need to make sure that you are doing it. Then it's about coming over and testing the wardrobes. Now these are nice walk-in wardrobes. They'll be left as they are. As you can see, this has all been painted nicely white fabulous we've got blinds on the windows so this room as far as i'm concerned absolutely fine and then do the same with the second bedroom so just close the door so you don't hear the bang so again in this bedroom we've actually now got cupboards which have the water tank in it so it's really important that you turn the water tank on and make sure that everything is running so important because you can't have guests you can't have tenants coming into these and thinking oh well maybe the water works maybe the water doesn't work mm, you need to know and again behind me i have also got or just down here the night storage heaters again you need to test your heating works put the heating on i know it's going to cost you a little bit of money but you should then leave it for 12 hours or overnight to make sure that the property heats up because if it doesn't you have to do something about it now as you can see on these windows these windows are part of a conservation zone so i can't change them easily luckily they've been painted um, and it's really important that you also test the mechanisms on them just to make sure that they work these ones work fine i've tested all of the other ones i'm gonna lock it so that no one breaks in it's also really important you test the blinds i mean yeah <laughs> They work not too badly, but the other thing with blinds is you have to make sure that they can't strangle people because a child could put their head in it, have the window open, fall out the window. You don't want to hear what happens next. So make sure that you've got warning signs on them, which show that um, there is a risk of your child choking if they get strangled on a blind. So that's the bedrooms, they're pretty simple. Now in the hallway, this is a smallish flat. So if I turn on these sockets out in the hallway, they do one of two things. One, this is the hot water, this is the hot water switch. Two, this is the radiator in the bathroom switch. So in order to get hot water into the properties, they have to into this property, they have to be on. So if I come here into the bathroom, I've got an electric handrail, which I've just turned on and that will now heat up. 
and that will also make sure that the hot water comes on in the shower. So again, leave that on for 12 hours, make sure that it works. Um, the bath is, the toilet, sorry, is flushable. I've got a sink over here that works, although I'm gonna be changing the plug because that came off. Um, again, check the windows, make sure they open and close, make sure that the fan up here is also working. You need to test all of these things. Just turned on the light, you can hear the fan come up. Turn off the light again, the fan will now go off, which should go off in the next 15 minutes. Then in here, I've got a washing machine. The washing machine is currently unplugged. So I will be testing that to make sure that the uh, everything works with the washing machine and that it doesn't trip off the electrics. That's one of the main things that you could have a problem with in these old properties. <laughs> Um, but with the water running, we know that we've got water plumbed into it. Next up, let's go through to the main part of the house, which is the kitchen area. And it's really important that you t look for actually what utilities you've got. So this one's got a nice little dishwasher, which I've ran three times now to wash different things. For those of you watching on the YouTube video, we've got loads of chairs in here because the other day I had the Members Club live event in here. So everybody came to see me and have a look around my flat. It was lovely. Um, we've got an oven here. You should test the oven to make sure it's working. And fridge freezer. So turn the fridge freezer on as well to make sure that's working. That one's fine. Again, testing your, your hob testing that your extraction fan works all of these things it's really important because what you don't want to have is new tenants come in and then they start phoning you up immediately and saying hey i can't do x y and z because that's not working it's your responsibility when you buy this property to check honestly and i may be teaching you how to suck eggs but i think it's really vital that you spend couple of inspections just going around this stuff if you outsource your management your managing agent will do that my managing agent will do that too because this will be outsourced to let um, and they'll be doing the management uh, mainly because i don't really want to get too involved in that for this one um, but again you should come and do it so that you know where everything is it's really 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 important so again checking all the drawers so that you know what's in the drawers. Check in even the strange drawers just to make sure that you've got all the warranties for all of the bits and pieces, you know, for all of the, the oven, the dishwasher, the hob. You need to have all of that information. It's also really important that you go into any loft hatch this I've put, I'm not gonna go out and get up there right now, but I have stuck my head and shoulders up there and had a look around, there's nothing up there. Um, again, with these older properties, it's about making sure that the windows work, the blinds work, all of the sockets work. These ones have got USBs on them, so it's about work, making sure that you can easily plug in your USB, that charges your phone, all of these little things that you need to check because the more you check right now, the easier it is in the long run to make sure that you're gonna manage it all right. Other things that I've done, which, you won't, which aren't actually a feature in this flat, they're in the common parts, is I know that I can turn on and off the water to this flat using the stopcock, which is just down the stairs. I also know where the electrical intake is and where the meter is. So I took a meter reading on the day that I purchased this. And also I've updated the council with my details for council tax purposes, because whilst this is vacant, I will have to pay for the council tax. I don't have gas in this property. It's an old property. It was built in the 1800s. So that's not a worry for me here. Again, in here, we've also got these Dimplex heaters, which do come on and off, and they are, make the flat very toasty. If I come around here, again, I've got a really large living space. Um, that Dimplex heater over in the corner works, um, and these, all of these beautiful windows in here work. So it's a really, really bright, nice, modern flat. But I can't just buy something and then not come and inspect it. 
Now, if you have decided that you're not going to go and have a look at the property that you are buying, use this information that I've just given you so that you can go and tell your managing agents what to look at too. You can make a checklist, ask them to sign it off for you so that you know that everything has been done right. Now, I have had three sets of keys cut for my managing agent. I will be dropping them off to her after we've finished here. My managing agent is charging 10%. That's it, 10% of the monthly rent. That is the cost to manage this flat. I think that's great. There's no VAT applicable on that because she's a small managing agent. But she has run this building and done other local lets for years. So I'm very confident in her ability to let this flat fast. This is, going, this is on the market currently at £1,100 per calendar month. I'm happy to accept anything over a thousand pounds per calendar month because I'll still make a profit. It's on a 2.11% interest only mortgage with Santander and Santander have said that if the freeholder gives permission for this to be used as an Airbnb, they are happy that after 12 months I switch it over. So I've also got a real lot of flexibility with it. For now, in the interim, I'm renovating the flat downstairs. So the contractors are coming up and using um, the bathroom up here because I don't have a bathroom downstairs at the moment. And also the countertop facilities for making teas and coffees. So this is it. This is the flat I've just bought. Um, I didn't tell you the mortgage is £350 per calendar month. The service charge on this works out at about £50 per month and the ground rent is um, 20 pounds per annum. This is a 999 year lease. The ground rent is never going to go up. It's always gonna stick at 20 pounds. And the freeholder actually has to contribute to a loss of the service charge so they never do large scale works uh, without proper consultation and it doesn't need it at the moment anyway. So there's a lot of positives about buying this property which I'm really excited about actually. I'll keep you updated as it gets let but I hope you've enjoyed the wander around with me. Um, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen in the future with this.